MasterChef search across the country, unearth any raw talent. For what we're making today, fresh, grab it. Whoa. We're eating ostrich. Ostrich egg frittata. What are you cooking? Wild bear. Wild bear. With my own special rub. Deep fried giant water bugs. Giant like water cockroaches? They're water bugs. I'm excited. I've never had bear. Would you like to smell my rub? <laughs> <laughs> I have no interest. Steve, in smelling your rub. <laughs> I chopped half of the rare end because they're pretty salty. Do you cook with rabbit a lot? I do. We have a 40-acre plot. That's where we raise them. We use a 22 gun. One quick shot to the head, and they're gone. <laughs> it looks like rabbit had in the plate. It's a no. For me, it's a no. That was barely edible. It was barely legal. Greg, I couldn't bear it. After a run of wildly unsuccessful dishes, Brian from Texas hopes his unusual ingredient will help get him an apron. I cook roadkill on a weekly basis at the house for the whole family. This is a beaver tail right here. It's very difficult to flay. I don't want just the apron. I want the trophy, man. Take it home! I'm ready for this. I can't even sit down. I'm ready for this, man. But do I have to sit down? <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Good evening. Have I got something for you? Can't wait. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Brian. What are you cooking? Uh, this right here is a shaved and stripped Cajun beaver. Stop it. It also comes with frog chips. OK, you have five minutes to prepare it, so go to it. Strip and shaven beaver. Uh, something very unique about beaver, uh, they eat a lot of our mesquite trees out there. So I shaved off some mesquite bark off the tree and incorporated it into my Southwest Cajun style seasoning. Aren't you just a crafty guy? Hey. What does it taste like? Uh, it's a, a little richer than a beef flavor, slightly and slightly gamey. What's that? This is the actual tail. So I fillet it open. The beaver tail. Beaver tail. Wow, that's intense. How'd you kill a beaver? Jab him, he jumps around, I pull my 22 and pop out. Homemade. 15 seconds to go. I'm finishing the beaver tail right now. It's incredible. Done. It smells great. Thank you. It, literally, you could pass that off as beef. I'd have to disagree. Asian style beaver. There's a lot of stuff going on in the dish here. I've never quite had anything like that before. The secret behind this. This particular plate is really the seasoning. It's almost like an orchestra of flavor. If you start from the top and go all the way to the bottom. It's got that depth of seasoning. The foundation's there. Interesting. Uh, Joe. Are you turned on by the beaver? I like beaver as much as the next man, but this is like a serious cooking competition, and... Um, I don't buy in. I'm a no. You're a bit of a freak for beaver. I will not let you down. But is that one of the tastiest dishes I've tasted in this competition so far? Yeah? Thank you. I'm a yes. Thank you. Graham. OK. I want this so bad. I'll show you. step to achieving my goals, not only just for the 250,000, but my God, the title, Fireworks, baby! Oh! Oh! We're good. Coming up, it's one of the best 
opening dishes that we've ever tasted. Joe predicts this year's Master Chef winner. You are the one to watch, my friend. And later, a Master Chef first. Would you marry me? <laughs> so far, only two home cooks have walked away with aprons. <laughs> while many more. For me, it's a no. Sadly, I'm a no. I'm sorry, for me, it's a no. Have met with disappointment. I'm here to kick some ass. Ken Jordan, a 29-year-old from Minneapolis, deliver the goods. I'm a delivery driver, but I'm not on this earth to deliver packages. I have my father and my uncle here today. I dropped everything to come to MasterChef. To be here means the world to me. It means that I can live a culinary dream of mine. I'm here to kick some ass. I'm here to debone the competition and flambe them, man. Hello, chefs. How are you? I feel great. Right, first name is? My name is Jordan. What are you cooking, Jordan? Ancho chili tostada. Great. I got uh, one of my key sauces that y'all gonna love. You got five minutes. Get All it right. going. Sweet. Where'd you learn how to cook? Uh, I learned from my mother. She taught me early to uh, bring people over, give them food that they like. You still cook for her now? She actually passed away five years ago. This is her apron. I gave it to her when I was about 14 years old for Christmas. Um, it means the world to me to have something, something that reminds me of her with me. She died from brain cancer, so when she was under the, the decline, that's when I kind of started picking up the ropes of the family get-togethers and whatnot. What would she be thinking right now? She don't swear much, but she would say, holy <laughs> You seem very intense, very serious about what you're doing. I don't screw around. What do you think about the competition out there? There's some competition. Food-wise, I'm not seeing a lot of technique. But I'm going to bring you some technique. What's in the bottle? This is a cilantro mint aioli. This is kind of my secret sauce. Some ginger, there's a lot of lime, and then there's some serrano. You'll feel a little heat. Done? I'm done. Where are you going with the presentation on this? I'm an artist, I like to paint a lot. And uh, I like to bring that into uh, my plates, a lot of color. So you paint as well as cook? Yep. All right, so nice plating. Thank you. And how'd you rate your food? A 10, chef. Wow. A 10. Graham? I don't know, Jordan. I'm... I'm... Looking at that right there, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. That there's not a plate for each of us. That is so damn good and refined and just exploding with flavor, I just want more and more. So I'm a huge yes. Good. Yeah, I mean, you're a delivery driver. Correct, And in chef. my mind, you have delivered one hell of a impeccable, beautifully balanced dish. I'm a yes. Jordan, come here. Come around. Stand up here with us. That's your mom's apron? Yes. Take it off. Hold on to it tight. I'm going to tell you something that would make your mom really proud. That dish, it's yeah. one of the best opening dishes that we've ever tasted. You just raised the bar. Oh, um, thank you, guys. You are the one to watch, my friend. Keep your mother close to your heart. Oh, Keep my this God, you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, great job. Thank you, guys, so much. Well done. Thank you. Unbelievable. Huh? <laughs> Incredible. Everything thought out, well planned. Unbelievable.
be blown away that I was even in this situation and that I get to bring home an apron for now. That's absolutely incredible. Oh. Love you, Dad. Coming up. Howdy, gang. A round of dishes the judges find hard to swallow. And what's the twist? Breast milk. And later, Master Chef history is made. I take it that's a yes. So far, aprons have been hard to come by. Howdy, gang! And things aren't looking up. Good evening. What are you cooking? I'm cooking braised pork shoulder with salsa verde. That is drier than a camel's Are they dry noodles? <laughs> yes. We're going to eat raw ramen. I mean, I ate it. That's fine. I am making a baked macaroni and cheese with a major twist. And what's the twist? Breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a habanero shrimp pasta with banana slices. Raw mushrooms, chocolate brownie, lettuce. Blue cake. Ah. <laughs> oh, dear Lord Jesus. <laughs> OK, what's your critique? It fills you up. It's nutritious. It's delicious. The brown rice vinegar actually helps with muscle soreness, <laughs> irritability, and fatigue. How'd you make it this far? Well, I am a good cook, normally. But the thing is, there's actually no oil in that dressing, so you can really lose weight. Can we just finish the sentence first? I feel like I've just kissed a bison's <laughs> That is disgusting. For me, that's a no. Joe. No. For me, it's a no. Oh, 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 oh. You've made history because it is the worst dish we have ever tried. Congratulations. Thank you. The thing is, I'm a fourth generation cook. You can leave now. I literally could make everything at the age of 15. And I thought this would be fun and whimsical. So, you know what? I took a risk and I couldn't make anything technical, but I wanted to give you guys something different. So, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, chefs. Our next home cook is Adriana, a New York resident whose culinary journey began in Mexico. I'm from a small village called Vista Hermosa. The house where I grew up had no indoor plumbing. As a kid, I was playing with mud, and I had names for all my cows. <laughs> I was around food all the time. The basis of everything that I cook, it's always inspired by something that my mom taught me. I'm making a prickly pear cactus soup. My parents are coming today to support me, so I feel really proud of being able to present this dish that I grew up with. My family's supposed to be here, but I don't see them at all. I hope they get here really soon. <laughs> ¿Tienes el mapa? ¿Por dónde? Yeah, I have the map. Okay, vamos a regresar allá y nos vamos por... Dad, you're not going to make it on time. If my parents don't get here on time, it's going to really, really suck. Vamos hasta el... Uh, ciento... ¿Qué? I really wanted them to be here for this. ¿Ciento cinco? No. Ah, no. But, you know, I got to still go in there and do my best in front of the judges. Correle, vamos a ver a Adri. Hi. 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 First name is? Adriana. Welcome. What are you cooking? I am cooking prickly pear cactus soup. Right. It has guajillo peppers, puya peppers, has cumin, onions, garlic. And I'm also making some dry shrimp croutons for you right now. I really enjoy the way that the dry shrimp has that saltiness that's going to go really well with right. the chili. Excellent. Did you dust the soup with the shrimp? Yep, I just wanted to get some crouton-like consistency for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little. This one has some egg in it. That's it. Thank you. Is that tomato or just chilies? It's just the chilies. Okay. Is this what we're using? Yeah. So basically, this is what you're eating. Right. Without all the spikes. <laughs> of course. Graham, I, th I think that it's complex. I like the use of the chilies, the fact that the cactus is being showcased, also that you're staying true to your roots. It's a yes for me. Thank you so much. Listen, the dish was good, but you've got some obstacles in front of you. You're a very sweet girl, and that competition is fierce. 
I'm unconvinced. Uh, for me, 